So, um, as I promised, I was going to do a go-to product slash, um, like, my makeup um, routine. Um, so I'm just going to jump right in because this, I don't want it to be too, too long. Um, but let's get started. Um, first off, you want to moisturize your face, and um, I always add an SPF um, because sun damages your skin, as people know. I'm going to mention a couple different products that I use. Um, so depending on the makeup that I decide to wear that day depends on what I prime my face with or moisturize my face with. Um, today, I am going to moisturize my face. I already did moisturize my face with um, Pods. Um, it's like a little travel size. I'll have everything listed below in the description. Um, but another product that I use, um, if I'm not going to use a foundation with an SPF in it, um, is um, the Aveeno Radiant, Positively Radiant. It's a moisturizer and it has SPF in it, so it's really good. Um, so I already moisturized my face with my pods because I'm going to use a foundation today with an SPF in it already. So my face is moisturized. Um, so I'm going to go in with the Dream Urban Cover. This is like $8. Um, I'm going to have everything listed, as I said, and I'm going to have the prices next to it. Um, obviously, you can find it cheaper at different places. You kind of just have to shop around. Um, but I did the most general price. Um, but as you will see, nothing is over $15. I think the most expensive thing that I have is $15. So it's pretty awesome. So yeah, let's start. We're going to go and prime the face. After you moisturize, I was prime. For me, I have been loving this e.l.f. Jelly Pop, it's called Dew Primer. It's $10. I believe it's a limited edition one, so that means they will not be selling it anymore, which is total sucks because it's a dupe for the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, which is amazing, but it's like $30. Um, you can get the travel size for $15 on, on the website. Um, but this one really helps make your makeup stay all day, like literally all day. So I'm going to go ahead and just start with that. I do about two pumps. Looks like that. And I just rub it in my fingertips. And I apply it all over the face. Um, you'll see if you get this and you use this or you have used this. It's got like a really sticky feeling like almost like hair gel um but it literally makes your makeup stay like all day um and this is just a personal preference i go in with two different primers because my face is a little more um combination than most people um if you have like regular skin you could probably just use the one um but for me i have a combination skin and um i tend to get kind of creasy and poor my pores are more defined in my T section, so then I'm gonna go in with the second primer, and this is again Elf. Um, this is the Poreless Putty Primer. This is like eight dollars. This is the primer that broke the internet apparently, um, but it's amazing. It's a dupe for the Tatcha Silk um, one, which goes for I think fifty six to fifty eight dollars. I can't exactly remember. Um, I have that listed as well, um, and I believe it's the same amount of product, and it's literally like the same thing. So it's pretty awesome. I just grab like. A little bit in my finger like that kind of like work it in my fingertips and I only use this right underneath my eyes because that's where I crease the most and right where my pores are the biggest um, the thing with this one is you don't want to use too much because it can get a little greasy looking but um, another tip for this is I like to Tap it in my skin. Sorry, my lighting is a little wonky because I'm laying right by the window. Um, instead of pulling it, but this will really fill up your pores, and it actually helps with um, the makeup staying too, as well. I believe. I think so. Um, so yeah, now my face is primed. It's ready for my foundation. Um, for foundation. I use the e.l.f. Um, sponge, I believe it's like $5, um, I dampen it so it's like really squishy and yummy, 
And yeah, I'm gonna go right in with the foundation I said I was gonna use, which is the Urban Cover. Um, it has SPF 50 in it. It's got antioxidants. Um, it's formulated. I don't know. It's it's really good though. I like it a lot. Um, the only thing I do have to say is this foundation tends to have a smell. It's kind of got like an SPF smell, but if it doesn't bother you, um, I would recommend going for that. That way it kind of takes away two things with one. Or like I said, if you want to knock two in one, you could do a daily moisturizer that has SPF in it as well. So put a little bit on my finger, on my hand, and I just go in and I just start doing it like this. Right now my shade is a natural beige 220. Um, I really like the finish of this foundation. It's really natural looking. It's not very matte, but it's not super, super dewy either. It's kind of like somewhere in between, which I like because I'm not a very matte because I feel like after a couple hours, for me anyway, my skin, it tends to look dry. Because, like I said, I have combination skin. So, I go for something like this, more like a satin, regular finish. And just take my little sponge and I put it all in there, put it all in there. And there's that. So that covers my face pretty well. Um, it's pretty good coverage for a, it's supposed to be kind of like a tinted moisturizer slash um, CC cream. I've heard that it's a dupe for the IT Cosmetics CC cream, um, which is really good too. It's got a lot of the same ingredients, um, but again, this is like $10 versus like $20 or $30. I don't know exactly how much the CC cream is. Um, next, I'm going to go in with my concealers. Um, I personally like to use two different concealers. Um, one to like spot correct and one is a lighter shade than the other one and that's going to like brighten. Um, I don't like to do all brightening because I feel like after a while it kind of looks like just a lot. Um, so yeah. So I'm going to go on with my CoverGirl True Blend Concealer. Um, this is really good. Um, I've heard it's a dupe for the um, Tarte Shape Tape. Um, for me, the Tarte Shape Tape is really drying. And like I said throughout the day, my under eyes crease a lot. And it, you can just tell and it's not cute. So um, I've been actually really enjoying this concealer. So what I do for the concealer is I... Start here about where my pupil is and I go up because I'm going to place the lighter shade closer to where I get the dark spots. So then I go down my face and I do like a little, I don't know, a little something, something there. Go down and then what I like to do is like this and like this. This kind of just like helps carve out the face a little bit. So again, I go back in with my same Elf Beauty Blender sponge, and I'll blend this out. Blend it out. And then I take my blush, my blender, and I go down to blend out that concealer part. I'm actually going to go ahead and change to this. I feel like, um, there we go, the sun keeps like blending in, not making it easy for you guys to see. 
So, sorry about that. This would be a little bit better. Um, um, there we go. Oh, so I forgot to mention, um, if I do not, if I use like the moisturizer, my Avena moisturizer with the SPF in it, and I don't use the foundation with SPF in it, I always use my Milani Conceal and Perfect. Um, it's two in one. It's like super full coverage. It's awesome. You can get it from the drugstore. Um, I think this is like eight dollars too. I'll leave a little description of it below. Um, I like this one because it's got a pump. This side's kind of dirty. Versus this one has a little squeezy tube, so you're gonna have to put it on the back of your hand. Whereas um, this one, you could squeeze right in your face if you wanted. It's just it's all personal preference. Um, but yeah, that's a, the other foundation that I've been using a lot lately. Um, so between those two, I kind of go back and forth. Um, recently, I have been just doing this one because it's got the SPF in it already. And I usually moisturize as soon as I get out of the shower anyway. So, yeah. So then I'm going to go back in with my, this is Juvia's Place um, concealer. I am Magic Concealer. And this is in the shade 19. I believe this one was like $12 online. You can get it at Ulta or you can get it online. Um, I really like this one. It's got a lot of product. As you can tell, it's huge. It's like really thick. Um, but yeah, this is just a little lighter than the other one. So this is like going to be more of a brightening one. So I tend to like take some of the product off. That way it's not so much on your face because a little bit does go a long, long way with this. Um, and I'll go in and just hit that little spot. I'll hit the little tip of my nose. A little bit up there, a little bit down here. And then blend it out. With this lighter one, I like to bring it up over my eyelid and really press in to that center spot really brighten that area up, make you look more awake. So this is really just gonna give some dimension back to your face after that. Use that. That really brightens everything up, but it's not like whew, crazy amount. So there's that. Um, next, I always set right away because if not, she gets crazy. I'm gonna go in with my Cody Airston, uh, Airston. I don't even know how to say it. Loose face powder. Um, this is translucent with extra coverage. Um, the only thing with this one is it smells very 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 strong like powdery chemically yeah i don't really know how to explain it um and the only thing is loose powder gets very messy so be careful i just put a little bit in my lid and then i take um this is a real techniques blending sponge i like this one because it's got this little angled area and i'll show you how i use that later um and it's got like a really good tip like this. So um, that's what I use to set my under eyes. Um, I always go in and set my under eyes right away because like I said, my eyes crease. So I'll take this and I'll really get in there. And then set that area before it kind of goes. So yeah, the only thing with this one is it kind of has a strong smell to it. Um, so if you're sensitive to like fragrances and scents, um, I have a different one that you can try that I think is really good too. So with this one, I like to use two different um, setting powders. I'll go in with this one and I'll do my T-zone. Um, it's where I I need like brightening and whatnot. 
And then I'll show you the other translucent powder that I use. I use the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. This is awesome. This is, I believe, $10. Um, again, you can get it in most drugstore places. Same thing, I put it in the lid. For this one, I use a big fluffy brush. And I just do the rest of the face. Kind of good. It. So I pack, I pack on with the Cody one really get it good in there and then this one is just kind of like an all over um, set the rest of the base. And then what I like to do is I go back and with this flat side I use the the airspun one again and I get it real good on there like that and I take it and I kind of cut the base like that. This helps with um, Sculpting the face. So there's that, and then I kind of just leave it. I don't really mess with that one. Um, yes. Next, we will bronze. For bronzer, I like to use. Um, Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. And I just really like the way it blends. It's a really natural finish. Just like the perfect color for me, personally. Um, again, drugstore, like 10 bucks maybe. Um, I like to take a angled um, brush. This is personal preference. This is just what I do. And right above where I cut that, I take my, my bronzer and I bronze it out and I go up on the hairline just give my face some some color again and then I always go in under the chin and down the neck a little And I go back in with my powder brush, and that's when I kind of dust off that excess powder. Let's see. Um, this one smells amazing. I don't know what it smells like, but like coconut or sunscreen, summer, I don't know, it's delicious. So again, yeah, if you're sensitive to smells, maybe not. Um, I know Milani has one that's pretty close to this. Um, again, it's cheap. Um, and it doesn't have a scent, I believe. Um, and the Milani one is a little more matte. This one does have like a light sheen to it, um, but it's very, very light and it's natural looking. It's really pretty. Um, so next, I'm gonna go in and do some eyebrows. What I use for my eyebrows is the LA Girl Shady Biz pencil. It's got a little spoolie at the end. Um, I use the Shane Burnett. Just a really thin pencil, and I like it. So I start by brushing up the little eyebrows, and then start at the bottom. And just follow my natural shape. And then go on the top line. And just fill it in. Um, I'm going to always brush it out. Comb it through with the speed. Give it a little more natural feel to it. Lately, I've just been using the pencil. I used to really like pomade, but it's just kind of pricey, and I wanted to do a cheap one for you guys. But normally, I do use the Anastasia 
um, dip brow pomade, but that just runs a little high um, versus just this. And I, I honestly think you can get about the same um, outcome, honestly. It's not that much of a difference. It's just all personal preference. If some people work better with um, pomade, some people work better with these things. So, I just do personal preference. But again, I wanted to do something like drugstore or cheap, cheapish for you guys. So there's that. And brows make all the difference. Like, it's crazy. They really do. Trying to do this quickly for you guys. So you're not staring at me awkwardly, quietly. Because I do my eyebrows. <laughs> I'm actually just about out of that pencil. Um, that lasted me probably about a month, which isn't that bad, um, seeing how I use it pretty much every every day. Um, what you can then do is go back with a little slanty brush, and I'm gonna take my not so bright concealer, the CoverGirl one. And I'm just going to clean up the the angle. This brush is not good, actually. There we go. Same thing, it's just a different brush. The other one wasn't the cleanest. So the brows are on, and now my face looks crazy because I just had brows and <laughs> nothing on the eyes. But first, we're gonna set the face. I like the Milani Make It Last 16 Hour Wear, it's amazing. the brows up. And the brows are a little bigger than they normally are. That's because I've been lazy being pregnant. I haven't really cleaned them up that much recently. So trick I like to while my setting spray is setting, kind of pull back in and really press in some of that powder. It's drying. So the lash. I should have done this before I set the base. I got ahead of myself. I like the Milani Luminoso. It's amazing. It's like the perfect peachy 
shade for anybody, honestly. I just pat my brush, tap some of it off, blow it off. It's really just like give some color back into the cheeks. Then I'm gonna go back in with an e.l.f. Wow Bow. This is like four dollars. It's just a a brow um, thingy. This is just to set my brows so they stay throughout the, the day. And yeah. Next, we're going to do lashes. So I'll use my elf curling. I pump 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then I'm going to with my mascara. I use the Falsies Push Up Angel uh, by Maybelline. I just like the brush personally. Um, the formula is really good too, as well. But with one dip in there, literally. I love it. It just makes your lashes like wow. So while that's drying, I'm gonna run and get my lashes. So I forgot to go. I like to curl them one more time after the uh, mascara dries, just to get them really big, and that way it sticks really well to the eyelashes. Um, the eyelashes are obviously not a must everyday um, thing. Personally, I love eyelashes just because I feel like it just like pops, um, but you don't you don't have to wear eyelashes obviously. Um, but what I've been using are these um, Kiss Everlash in uh, their 01. Um, for me, these are a little long, but they're still kind of natural looking, which I like. Um, like, you can get away with wearing them every day. They're not, like, over excessive. I mean, they're there, but they're not, like, over, over there. <laughs> um, so, yeah. One thing that I love is, okay, so these things come with this little um, tool that is very helpful. I have my own that I use for every lash that I use. It's just a metal version of it, and I just personally like this one with the longer handle um, versus these little ones, but it's pretty much the same thing. Um, but I think this is a must. And for me, I like to use clear eyelash glue because if you put it down wrong and then lift it up, you'll have like a black line and I don't wear eyeliner. If you use eyeliner, then I, I don't see why it would it would matter. I mean, you could totally use black, um, but I just don't. So I prefer to use like a clear lash glue. Um, this is like an off brand. I really don't know where I got it. I've had it for almost a year now, um, but I know Kiss does make a clear glue as well. So we're gonna go in and I just take my little tools and get the lashes off this little thing. So for the clear glue, I take it and I get a little bubble. I don't know if you can see it's like that big. This helps me so I don't have 
to use that much product. That's why this thing has lasted me so long. Um, and then I literally just run it across the eyelash. I always make sure the corners have a lot more because that's where they're going to lift more than at any other point in this lash and throughout the day. Um, and by the way, if you want to know about my hair, leave a comment and I will message you. Because no, this is not real. It's beautiful. So. so I like to give it a couple seconds for the glue to like really get tacky. And we're gonna get real close for this one. It's worked out very good with the belly, but I'm gonna do my best. So a trick, I like to set it in the middle and kind of work the edges after. Um, and I use my little tool. And I combine my real lashes with these fake lashes. You want to get it as close to the lash line as you can. That way it looks more natural. Um, It's really just practice. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It's not like something that you can just do the first time and get it like perfect. I've been kind of playing around with falsies for over two years now. Um, so I kind of got my own little technique down that works for me. Um, but yeah, so there's one. And I'm gonna get the other one going. Sometimes I like to use little tweezers because getting it off of this thing can be kind of irritating. And the eyelash tool that I showed you guys doesn't have a very um, hard angled tip to get in the corners. So I'll just use tweezers and get in there. And another thing is I personally like to take off the little adhesive that makes them stick. I didn't do that for the last one because it wasn't sticking out as much. But that just helps make it look, um, again, more natural looking. So I'm gonna get my little bubble. I'll go ahead and line the lash. Like I said, make sure there's more glue on the edges. Um, the reason why I like these crease lashes is because as you can tell, like I have pretty long natural lashes already. Um, sometimes other brands, um, they're just not long enough for me. Like they, they just make them thicker, which is fine, but I prefer like to add some length to my lashes. Oh, with normal, pretty long eyelashes already. This um, this brand and this specific um, zero one I like for my eyes. Um, again, personal preference. If you don't want something as dramatic, they have um, like the demi wispies. But those for me, like I said, they just don't add the length that I want. Um, yeah. So we have this one.
Tut mir leid. Go down, make sure they're all along the lash line itself. As close as you can get. Press your real lashes into your big lashes. Right now, as you can tell with this one, still can see some of the white glue, but this one you can't because it dries clear. And that's what I like. Okay. Then I go back in and I do my bottom lashes so it doesn't look so like crazy, crazy. Like, I need to add a little something down there. two lip liners that I've been loving. This one actually just ran out. This one has a darker, definitely darker than this one. Um, this one is the NYX um, lip liner. I prefer these kinds of twist up kinds because I don't have a pencil sharpener, but they're like a dollar. I'm sure I can get one. I'm just lazy. So I like to use these ones because they're just easier. Um, this is the shade. Sand beige. I guess this one's a little darker than this one, um, and I just ran out of that one. So we're gonna go in with my LA Girl Ultimate Lip Liner Intense Stay, um, and this is in the shade Nonstop Mood. And we'll just line the lips. Um, this one is super creamy and yummy, like, it just goes on really good. Um, I'm going to give you guys two different options for lip products. Normally, it, dep it just depends on my mood, but lately I've been loving, like, a real glossy look. Um, I know nudes, or not nudes, um, mattes are very popular, um, so I have um, a couple different options for you guys. Um, So for um, a matte, these are like my favorite go-to nude um, lip products. Um, you can have the Kylie and Candy K. This is like nude, nude, nude. Again, this is more pricey. This is gonna be about 15 bucks versus eight dollars. And this is a this is called Peach Puff um, 540 in the Maybelline um, matte lipsticks. Looks like that. Um, I tend to mix two different ones of um, 565 Almond Rose and this one to kind of get the same color as this one. Um, so if you're looking for a matte lip, these are my go-tos for a matte lip. Um, for a gloss, um, I'm going to show you guys again. This is another Kylie product. This is in Coco K um, gloss. It's just a really pretty pinky, nude gloss. Um, but again, this is like $15 versus $6, $8. And this is a lipstick product, but it is a very um, shiny. I believe it's called the Color Sensational um, Maybelline Lipstick in shade 050, um, Baddest Beige. This is what I'm going to be using today for you guys. Um, and it comes in a lipstick form, but it's like a really pretty nude color. And when you put it on, it's just like, I'll show you guys.
It's like this really pretty, glossy, really moisturizing, pretty nude color. And I'm obsessed. So pretty much, um, this is my everyday look. Um, sometimes if I'm feeling a little extra, we'll add a highlight. Um, I like to use this Wet n Wild Mega Glow in um, Precious Petals. It's this really pretty, like, goldy, pinky color, and these are awesome. I think they're, like, $3, and uh, you can't even say, I can't even show you guys. It's just amazing. Um, and I like to use an e.l.f. Um, stipple brush. It just came in, like, a little set that I use because it's small, and I can really just get, like, the areas that I want, which is this area up here. And it really just adds, like, a natural... Extra. It's not too much, but it's definitely there. And I do like the tip of my nose. And voila! Another thing I like to do sometimes is I go in with like a really fluffy blending brush. I don't wear eyeliner very often, and I don't wear um, eyeshadow very often. But on days where I want to like deepen the look a little bit. I'll just take my same bronzer. This is a trick that I learned from um, many different makeup artists. And I just go with a big fluffy brush. And hit that crease right there. This will just add some dimension to your eyes. Um, and it's super easy, quick. We just add that in there. Adds a little something to the eyes. And last but not least, if you want to be a little extra, grab another little brush. This is like an e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush. Um, I just like it because it's like really round and right there. And I go in with my highlighter. And it fits perfectly right. In the corners of your eyes. And this will brighten up your eye a little bit. So there's that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry if it was a little longer than you thought it was going to be. Um, you can fast forward at any point. And again, like I said, I'll list everything that I used and talked about below. Um, yeah, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And hopefully you guys can try some of these products out and let me know what you think. And yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good day, guys.